Yo, my people, it's your boy here, MC, and welcome back to Swahili Nation, Swahili to the world. Guys, it's, it's good to be back to the reaction on another song from Ethiopia. Okay, this is what I did yesterday, guys. I did reaction on one of the gospel songs that I received requests from y'all because I'm doing reaction of all of the songs right here. And, you know, some of y'all seems not to like it, you know, because I was actually talking about God and talking about Jesus. And I, I remember I read this one comment uh, talking about that, that, oh, Swahili Nation now has becoming a preaching channel. Guys, I just gotta be very clear about everything. A Swahili Nation is not a re religion. Personally, uh, I don't believe in religion, all right? Because you can be very disappointed when it comes to religion, but I believe in God. I have religion though, but I'm not here to preach about religion. I'm here to preach or to spread the, the message of peace. I mean, love, peace, and unity, and which is God. That's what I'm holding on to. And I respect everybody's religion. But I'll tell you this. If you're following me, if you are a subscriber in this channel, if you're my friend, and if I don't mention anything about what I believe, then I'm not worthy looking up to and I'm not worthy following. All right. I got to be oh, I got to be honest with you. All. I love God. I love Jesus. And I will speak about that and will say about that as I respect every single one of you guys as I've always been doing and I'll keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's my belief and that's who I am. If I cannot be myself, then I cannot be authentic. And you guys, you cannot follow me because I'll be danger to every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to put my life out there and to show what I believe. Uh, and you guys you can show us what you believe in the comment section. It's really amazing. But we can all agree in one thing that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Because I've done reaction yesterday for that song, I received another suggestion of this song that came, man, it's a gospel song too, came out only, uh, I think it's one month. It has more than one million. And the good thing about this song, it shows here is the new live worship. So if it's live worship, that means I don't really have to stop for every 10 seconds. But still, I'm going to need to stop because down here, uh, they have said that, you know, you are not uh, you're not allowed to uh, or authorized to distribute or re-upload this content. It's strictly prohibited. So <clears throat> I might get in trouble, guys. So please pray for me. Somebody say, you know, gospel songs, they don't really have copyright. No, guys, they do. Unless if it's live, it's really live. But every single song that goes into the digital platform, it has copyright. You just need to know and YouTube is one of the digital platforms. So, yes. Uh, let's try to see here. I hope I'm not going to get in trouble, but I'll try to send email as soon as I do this reaction. All right. So I'm just going to rush right away. But right before that, I would have to teach you guys a little bit of Sw Swahili before beginning. Okay. Worship. Worship, we say it's Ibada. Ibada. So to worship is Kuabudu. Kuabudu is to worship. Guys, God is everything. And we cannot argue with that. You know what I'm saying? Without him, I wouldn't be here. Without him, Swahili Nation I wouldn't be here. Some of you, you know the story of Swahili Nation, but some of you, you don't know. Some of you, you've known today is the first time, but you know, it has been in the making for eight years plus. It has been in the making. And it all, we, we only came out like one year and a half right now. But it has been a long time ago. And it's all God, man. It's all God. All right. You guys, let me know what's the song about. Mm. You know, I'm a big fan of acoustic guitar. I play acoustic guitar. Mm, guys, good. What, what I love about this, look at everybody, man. They are worshipping, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. It's actually my first time to react on the worship song from Ethiopia, you know, and I love them. It's really good. It's <laughs> 
Oh man, man, look at this, man. You know, sometimes you see people worshiping, they don't really worship, they're not into worship, but look at them. Look at everybody. God be praised. God be praised. Man, bells, man. Oh. Man, the production, man, is amazing. Just watching someone worshiping in spirit and truth, you are entering into worship, man, even without knowing, you know what I'm saying? And you can tell that it's not just about the music video, but it's about the worship, you know what I'm saying? Itawa keleni, itawa keleni, itawa keleni, itawa kereni, itawa kereni. No, itawa kereni me. Just waiting for that drum right there to come. Mm, even the drama, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. God is good, man. Hey. Ooh, man, you see all the tests of music right there, man. African vibe. You have Ngoma, they have drums.
really think this is life for real because I'm, I'm, I've been trying to pay attention to what he says Yay! That's the place right there, man. That's the place. Mm. This is like a cry for help. Like, please help me, Jesus. I can, I can feel man I'm, I'm very overwhelmed right now i'm getting goosebumps i'm for sure 100 percent they're calling for help from jesus jesus help us that's what they're saying help our nation help our country this is the prayer this is not a song this is a prayer right here They're crying. They're praying for real. This is a prayer, guys. It's not a song. It's a prayer. It's a prayer. They're praying. Yes, yes, to help us. Alright guys, I want to say this. Trust God with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. That's what it says in the book of Proverbs. When, when I was listening to this song, especially in that part when they're crying out to Jesus, Jesus, because I think that is it means Jesus, crying for help to God, I was reminded something. And I want to share with you guys. Uh, you guys, you know that Tanzania, we, we lost our dear president a couple months ago. Uh, Dr. John Pombe Magufuli. He, he, he has been in a regime for five years plus and he was loved by Tanzania. Especially people with who, who don't have anything. We, in Tanzania, we say masikini, poor people. He was loved. He was cherished because... Uh, he was he was like a, the hero. He was somebody that you can lean on. He was somebody who always fights 
for the right of those people who are down there and he he was like the enemy of people who are up there because he was always exposing when it comes to corruption when it comes to uh people who are not really working hard people who are not really uh they're not really accountable uh to what they have been given and the task have been given he has always been hard and so a lot of people out there and a lot of rich people they didn't really like him because they couldn't get anything they couldn't even get a chance to to, to go to abroad you know what i'm saying but people local people they loved him so much because he was the president of those people and that's what he always said one thing that i think a lot of tanzania we made mistake and it's hard to talk about this it was a lot of local people they loved him so much to the point where like some of them they made him as if he's a god that was the biggest mistake because what happens when you have someone and then is a leader of the country for him he didn't want everybody to look at him like that but people that's how they look at him because of what the things that he has been doing for 5 years he has done things that they've never been done for more than 50 years maguful but you know what those are kind of people that God takes them away so he's gone right he's gone and it's kind of leader that you want him you need like i really need this leader to be here right now i really want him to be and he's gone always like people that you need the most they always leave like they're always gone you know before the time and those people that you don't even want them to stick around they're going to be there you know and you're going to die first and they're going to still be there you know what i'm saying like it's always like that i don't know why things are working like this but i think the lesson here is that god he wants us to depend on him to fully depend on him So what is the lesson to my friends my brothers and sisters from Ethiopia Put your trust in God If you put your trust on your leader you're going to be disappointed If you put your trust on people you'll be disappointed because they're not God They're just human being just like you just like me just like anybody else It would be a big mistake If you think your leader is God it would be a biggest mistake because the moment you think that way the moment they're going to screw up to remind you that they are just normal human being and sometimes these lessons they come from almighty god because he want us to depend on him he want us to look up to him so whatever that is going on right now in your life in your country in your nation depend on god i just want to encourage all day because we, we got to be honest with one another man issues that we are facing we cannot solve with our own understanding sometimes we think our leaders they're going to solve them but they create more issues more problem because they're just human being man these issues are bigger than ourselves it's bigger than us you know what i'm saying if it's bigger than us then you need extraordinary power to actually deal with that so everybody with your religion with the god you believe come back together with one unity harmon peace and love and praying for our leaders so that god will give them wisdom to lead our nations and also to pray for ourselves to fully depend on god and not depend on people to look on god and not look on people that's my message for today guys i really appreciate for sticking by don't forget to love one another and spread peace wherever you are let me know what is your message in the comment section and all oh, it's going to be amazing amara here you can follow your boy on instagram information is right here and right there see right there all right guys amara here